Cutting and Pasting A Senior Thesis by Brent Staples About the Author Born in 1951 in Chester, Pennsylvania, Brent Staples is a writer and a member of the editorial board of the New York Times. He often writes about culture, politics, race, and education. Staples has a BA in Behavioral Science from Windrall University and a PhD in Psychology from the University of Chicago. Before joining the New York Times, he wrote for Chicago Sun-Times, Chicago Reader, Chicago Magazine, and the jazz magazine Downbelt. His work has also appeared in publications such as Mrs. and Harper's Staples is the author of A Memoir, Parallel Time, Growing Up in Black and White. Background on the Prevalence of Cheating and Paraglism in High School and College Recent studies suggest that High school and college students are increasingly likely to cheat or plagiarize. For example, one Duke University student conducted from 2002 to 2005 showed that 70% of the 50,000 undergraduate students surveyed admitted to on cheating occasions. A 2008 survey of high school students by the Center for Youth Ethics at the Josephson Institute so that shows that 82% had copied from another student's work, while 36% said that they had used the internet to plagiarize an assignment. Moreover, students tend to view such academic dishonesty with indifference. According to surveys by the Center of American Academic Integrity, only 29% of undergraduates believe unattributed copying from the wave rises to the level of serious cheating. Summary in English In Cutting and Pasting Staples tells that many students used to get used to with cheating and plagiarizing. Many researchers have proven this to be true. Majority of students think plagiarism is not a very serious problem. Observers find some reasons for it. New technologies are invented and personal morality is declining. But academic organizations think that campus help students improve academic integrity. The author's friend finds that many students plagiarize from the wave and they are not regretful. He wants to let them know that plagiarism just can help them get the right answer but cannot help them learn critical thinking or improve their intelligence. He and many other professors try to change the situation by letting students write in class and many schools now tell their students pelagrism is illegal and immoral act. Many professors are still worried about how students can be made to learn. If students do not think by themselves, they cannot learn things at all. Professors find that students who copy homework from other or the internet are deprived of getting exposure to new knowledge. As a result, in the long run, they fail in their exams. Students get used to find answers at first, not to think on their own, and they develop a habit to do so. Though it's very difficult to change themselves, but measures should be taken from all aspects to overcome the problem of plagiarism. Students should be taught to generate their own ideas and think critically. When students think critically and they graduate their own ideas for problems, they meet 
success in their life. This helps them train their minds and keep their minds active at all time. If students cheat and plagiarize, they will make habit of it and then rely on it instead of thinking or using their own minds. They just copy and let others' ideas become theirs. But it's not their ideas at the end. Many students find answer and copy it differently when they have homework or assignments. It's no doubt that this way is very fast and convenient, but they can't learn from it. Students have to write or complete by themselves in order to train and improve their ability. Plagiarism is not good to students' growth. Also, academic honesty is very important. It relates to our morals. Morality is far more important than studies. We need to respect the author's ideas and achievements. Although new and advanced technologies appear rapidly, they provide us easy access to information, but it should be used in correct ways. Students can use it to develop them, find materials, inspire thoughts when they write, but never copy them ditto. Actually, we know that students must have pressure from schools, parents and themselves. So they should cut down some pressure and students also need to find some ways to release pressure. Plagiarism will only do harm to students. Copying others make them still ignorant to true knowledge. It's no use to test. It deceives teacher, deceives parents, deceives themselves. They will lose the thinking and imaginative skills and it's negative to future learning. We can see that usually the best students never plagiarize. If they do so, in the long run, their learning will get worse, far behind others.